slope stability outline overall view factors leading to slope stability in finite slope stability analysis finite slopes basic methods and bishop's method simplified bishop method and small examples if necessary The diagram shows that there is a slope and the weight of that slope is um, normal to the gravity force acting downwards. So it try to dry down, draw down. New forces resulting from seismic activity also the slope will into failure. So these are the sum of the if new loading and if a continual exposure to ground water and all those things leads to slope failure. Some of the types of slope movements are seen, but they are all natural. It happens, but we have to quantify that and find the safety of the slope finite slope stability there is an infinite slope and a element is taken and the horizontal width of the slope is b and the vertical depth is z and the shear force on the bottom will oppose the motion and normal stress will be acting and weight of that element will be acting vertically downwards and on either side of the element there is a tangential and supporting forces and opposing forces so they are all neglected the slope is at an angle of beta slope composed of uniform coefficientless soil where gamma is a soil unit weight and tau is sigma dashed and tan phi this bar is nothing but an effective stress the assuming the play plane and sliding and that is also beta with me and W is the weight of the soil incremental slice and N is equal to the gamma into B into Z cos B. Sigma is equal to gamma Z cos squared beta and S is gamma B Z sin beta. So tau is equal to gamma Z sin beta into cos beta beta is the slope of the angle when mass is on the verge of the slide because the area is delta l that is b by cos beta which is equal to b secant beta b secant beta or b by cos beta into 1 will give you the a. the one is horizontal perpendicular to the slide and one meter it is taken so the area of the bottom of the slice is given and this n is gamma b z cos beta divided by area that is b into so and so so b b we cancel gamma z cos squared beta is the stress acting on the that area the factor of safety of a slope is defined as the ratio of the available shear strength tau f to the minimum shear strength required to maintain stability factor of safety is equal to tau f by tau minimum 
The shear strength of the soil is governed by Mohr's column failure. The stability of infrared slope phi is equal to phi is equal to three u is equal of the soil. Phi is equal to zero and c is for phi u is equal to zero. C u of the soil. The Mohr's column shear given by tau f is equal to c u. From statics and using normal force is equal to W cos beta and tangential force is equal to W sin beta. The shear stress per unit length on the slip plane is tau mobilized T by L is equal to W sin beta cos beta by B that is equal to gamma b z by b into sin beta cos beta that is equal to gamma z sin beta cos beta the factor of safety is then cu by gamma z sin beta cos beta 2 cu by gamma z sin 2 beta at limiting equilibrium, if factor of safety is 1, therefore, the critical slope is beta is equal to half of sine inverse of 2 Cu by gamma Z. And the critical depth is Zc is equal to 2 Cu by gamma sine 2 beta. Stability of infinite slopes C dash soil. So with no so C pace. So for C dash soil, the more column shear strength is given by tau f is equal to C dash plus sigma n dash tan phi dash. Factor of safety is then the normal and shear stress per unit length at the failure plane in the reference in figure is equal to sigma n dash is equal to n by l and tau m is equal to t by l. Factor of safety is given by c dash plus sigma n dash tan phi dash by tau m that is equal to c dash by tau m and plus sigma n dash tan phi dash by tau m. For a slope without c pace, fs is equal to c dash by sigma z sin beta cos beta plus w cos beta tan beta dash by w sin beta. So, the w everything, if it simplifies, c dash by gamma z sigma beta cos beta plus tan phi by tan beta. At a limiting equilibrium, Fs is equal to 1. Therefore, the critical depth Zc is given by C dash by gamma into secant square beta by tan beta plus tan phi. For the case where the factor of safety is always greater than 1 and it is computed from the equation. This means that there is no limiting value for the depth z. For coarse grained soils, z dash is equal to 0. The factor of safety becomes tan phi dash by tan beta. At limiting equilibrium, Fs is equal to 1, beta is equal to phi dash. Therefore, the critical slope angle is that. The implications of equation is that the maximum slope angle of a coarse grained soil, C dash is equal to 0, cannot exceed beta. In other words, in case C dash is equal to beta greater than phi dash is always unstable and cannot be applied to practical simulations. 
finite slope stability analysis and basic methods. Rotational slopes in homogeneous soils. The, there are different types of soil failures and rotational failures are occurred and it, they are all shown in the figures and it can be easily followed. Actual rotational failure occurs like this, spoon shaped or cylindrical shaped depending on the representative slice of a finite slope. This slice is shown, a section unit width slice is taken for analysis, section of the slope having a unit width assumed and that's we will take and analyze it for factor of safety. The figure defines the assured center of rotation for failure of soil mass that is shown and the W2 external loading failure area that is D2 from the zero and W1 the weight of soil mass that is D1 from the rotational soil mass and the radius is R and the center of gravity of the mass is at the center. Assumed failure surface. Tau is the unit shear resistance developed on slip surface. Movement causing sliding is W1 into D1 plus W2 into D2. Movement resisting the sliding is tau into L into R, where L is length of arc length, that is total arc length, it is given and R is radius of the curve. Calculation for factor of safety, let tau is equal to tau max maximum shearing strength, the Fs is equal to, that is the shear strength mobilized in within the soil, that is tau max into L into R by W1 into D1 plus W2 into D2. So the mobilized shear strength must be greater than the what is the disturbing shear strength, shear force. So then the factor of safety will be more than one. Let tau required shear strength is required. Then you can say tau required is equal to W1 into D1 plus W2 into D2 by L into R. So factor of safety is equal to tau max by tau required. It must be greater than always 1. Location of moment of axis naturally if it varies then factor of safety varies. See the two trials are shown in this. One will give factor of safety 1.1 and one will give 1.5. So slip surface for the moment of axis A, slip surface for moment of axis A. Whatever may be the trials it is taken, the factor of safety must be greater than one. Method of slices. Method of slices. First, draw a slip surface using center of rotation for a circular failure surface and radius of failure arc R is there. Then, entire thing is divided into slices that is shown. The B may vary or B may be equal or as it requires the slip surface that that is made into slices. Take one slide that is weight of that slice acts vertically downwards. Sides of the slice are vertical up like that. 
if you take a slice the width is b the weight acting vertically downwards and the this is alpha which is making an angle with the slider yes and normal and uh, wt is the weight of this soil slice but also includes external loads on the slope surface and weight of the water if the slope surface is somebody l is equal to b by cos alpha and is equal to b second alpha it is shown earlier also and t and e forces on a vertical boundaries of the slice are shear and lateral forces due to adjacent slices n is the normal and wt cos alpha if no submergence or wt cos alpha minus u into l if submerged forces acting on the individual slice is shown but at the boundaries e l and t l and e r and t r both are in some cases in the earlier analysis they are all excluded the factor of safety is given as sigma because all these slices we integrate c dashed into b secant alpha that is plus wt cos alpha into tan phi that is normal says divided by the wt into sin alpha this gives the factor of safety of that slide friction circle method this method also assumes the failure surface as the arc of the circle in this method a concentric circle with p as center and r sin phi as radius is drawn when a tangent is drawn to this circle which will cut the failure circle at an obliquity phi other way if a line is drawn at an obliquity angle phi from a failure surface representing the reaction delta r then this line will be a tangent to the small circle drawn at p the small circle is known as a friction circle because phi is the intergranular friction of the soil consider a slope abc and a slip surface ac which is a part of a circle with radius r draw a line fe which is tangent to the circle and the cuts failure surface at an angle phi so r sin phi is a friction angle and friction circle similarly draw line fe in order to know the magnitude of cm bar l the length and r the force triangle is drawn as shown the tangent to the friction circle and cm l are the parallel to the chord ac and w is the weight vertically downward in this force pole can w is known as to us and hence cm l dash and r can be calculated then factor of safety is calculated at c by cm where c is the cohesive strength of cohesive strength of the soil and cm is the mobilized cohesive strength of the required 